Hi Digi4 lovers, welcome once again back to our online tutorials. Today I'm going to show you one of the latest features that are available now in 6.7. Digi4 now supports the viewing and de-warping of 360 degree panamorph lenses and fisheye cameras. It's a good idea to have a look at what's supported on our supported integration camera list. Check it out online. Right now we're going to show you how to configure it. So jump onto the Digifoot administration client and type in the camera name. In this scenario we're using a Brickcom camera and the model number is an MD300NP with a Panamorph Imavision lens. I select the model number from our drop down menu and fill in the required camera IP address, username and password. I continue now to select what type of lens it is and as you can see here from the list we have normal and panamorph and in the new version of 6.7.1 we also have fisheye. The different styles of camera positioning is where the camera will be installed. We have three to choose from, one being wall, the second being ceiling and the third is ground. So that would obviously uh, determine the way that it would de-warp or which de-warping engine library to use and how it's going to de-warp it. Then we go to our media stream and we select the media stream and as you can see here we're checking to make sure that our stream is streaming to our administration client. It's very important to remember that all the streaming and configuration of the cameras must be configured within the camera itself. So let's move over to the surveillance client now As you can see on the left hand side of the screen, we are utilizing the square or the single view, which enables for you to demonstrate or see the full 360 degree of the lens. This is what it will be recording in in raw format, and we can zoom in and out using the scroll of the mouse, or we can use the PTZ options located on the right hand side of Digifort. Alternatively, Digifort also does support the right click zoom option, which is one of our famous zoom functionality, digital zoom functionality, by simply right clicking the selected area and zooming into that area. This then makes the 360 degree camera zoom in. Then the second option across we have is a quad view. The quad view allows us to pinpoint different areas of the camera in different locations. So as you can see on the first location, I have zoomed in to our Digifort banner. Now I will toggle to the second camera, and in the second camera I will select and maneuver my camera so that I am facing it across the Digifort banners located on my wall. Then the third camera, or the third option, allows us to zoom in maybe in a different area over the heads. Now the last option is camera 4. So we can now move that as you can see I'm moving it with the PTZ function from the Digifoot surveillance client. So I'm going to show you how I can simply just zoom in by using my scroll mouse. As well as that we can also implement a 180 degree view which is a panoramic view and we have the flexibility to actually maneuver it a full 360 so the more that I move around as you can see you'll be able to see the full camera from both areas so I'm going to now zoom out and this comes to a conclusion of how the 360 degree Panamorph lens works in Digifort. Stay tuned for our next video which will demonstrate how the fisheye camera is also implemented in Digifort. Thanks guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.